very brutal. It is loud, it is obnoxious. It's just a Mustang with big old tires and a big old engine and a stick. Hi, I'm Steve Strope, and this is my company, Pure Vision. We're in Simi Valley, California, and behind me is a car that we built quite a while ago. It's called the Anvil Mustang. The car won the uh, Ford Design Award Car of the Show at SEMA. It was also uh, borrowed to be used in Fast 6. It's got a big, giant, all-aluminum John Cozzi Boss 520, 805 horsepower. Yes! 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 Get it up, boy! Woo! It has an extremely elaborate F1-style inboard cantilever pushrod suspension. It's kind of neat when you're driving, you can look behind you and actually see the rear suspension functioning because it's in the, the back seat area. The car is also, it's very brutal. Uh, it's not a quiet luxury sedan. You hear all the mechanical parts moving, you hear the suspensions, you hear the creaks and bumps. And for those of you who actually own real race cars, that's normal. Uh, you hear that stuff in a race car. It sounds like it's gonna fall apart. It doesn't, it's doing its job you're just not sequestered with a bunch of sound deadening and all the other things that the manufacturers put in the car to make you feel safe and warm and happy. This car doesn't do that. It's not safe and warm and happy. It'd like to hurt you. So yeah, it's a very aggressive car. It's, it's quite spirited. There's no air conditioning. There's no power steering. We wanted on purpose not to have something crazy. I, I want it to work together. I don't want it to yell and scream. I want it to look like it belonged there. So there's a lot of that work in the car. If you go around to the back of the car, I put in 68 Mustang taillights and then an open two mesh screens. Uh, I did like a Ferrari 430 at the time. And then you'll see two lights dangling behind the mesh. Those are actually PIA driving lights that are the back of lights. So this whole nose, everything from the eight pillars forward, everything is carbon fiber and we developed all the parts and pieces and we did it in months. So the wheels are one off by EVOT. I try to do a lot of uh, historical relative looking wheels and uh, the brakes are all bare brakes, big uh, six piston, 14 inch Mondo stuff. The, the exhaust is basically a hockey sticks <laughs> come, out of the, come out of the headers. The seats are, I believe we started with a pair of Carbos and cut them up. You'll also notice things like there's a big down bar, a roll bar coming from the, from the main hoop down through. Lots of time was spent to make sure that it's, it's doing its job, but it does not touch the passenger. You can sit in that seat, in the passenger seat, comfortably. And it also bolts and unbolts, so you can remove the bar. Unknowingly, when people look at it that are very familiar with 69 Mustangs, they don't realize that all those subtle, a lot of work, but subtle changes alter how the whole thing sits and, and, and its profile is, uh, why does that look more aggressive? The front fenders, we changed the shape of them, we brought them out because we didn't want to put giant fender flares on the car. It's kind of unattractive if you want something that's flying under the radar. If you start at the door jam, what we did was just grab it and pull it out. So now the car's almost four inches wider. If I just parked the car and opened everything up, opened the doors and the hood and the deck light and let people walk around that are Mustang nuts, they would keep finding and keep finding and keep finding and keep finding. Underneath the car, they'd keep finding. And there's just so much done to it. And then you open up the hood and then flanking the engine is a set of cantilever inboard coilovers sitting right there. So it's, it, there's a lot of neat stuff for people to enjoy. It's a visual little carnival, really. You know, there's just so much on it. But when it's all closed up, it's a white Mustang with some really cool wheels. And uh, I'm very proud to say, because the car is quite old now, I think it 
you pull it outside and it's just a great looking Mustang. I don't think it's ever really gonna age out. It's not, there's nothing trendy on the car. It's just a Mustang with big old tires and a big old engine, a stick. This was just built a really, really nasty, but beautiful Mustang. This car is not your friend. <laughs> this, this, car, this car is not your pal. This car worries about itself and screw you. It's just, just drive it. Come on. 